Hello. We're here at the Capitol on Inauguration Day 2011, and this is Alan Ruff. And Alan, well, hello. you're a member of the 20-year club of WMPJ. You were there 20 years ago. I was, right in this building. Yes, I hear you were sitting next to this guy, Will Williams. Uh, rumor has it. Why were you there? Why was I, why was I there then? Because at that point it was quite uh, apparent, uh, obvious to all of us, that to create a uh, statewide organization, uh, a network of, uh, you know, uh, of allies ar around the region, around the state, was, was crucial in getting across a message of uh, peace and social justice. Absolutely. And um, I know you've been active with WMPJ, with Rainbow Bookstore Co-op, and with so many things for the last 20 years. Is there any way longer, that... <laughs> longer than longer that. Than that. <laughs> Is there any way that WMPJ has helped your work at all? Uh, again, those networks have been uh, 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 real good. The uh, uh, connecting with people up north mm -hmm. uh, and, and so on, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I remember folks like you know, like Frank Boyle and, and, and so on speaking out. And at that time, it was really vital to have people in the legislature uh, to uh, put forward a message. Exactly. And uh, you know, of course, uh, the war now. You know, I just got an email last night from a fellow who said that he came out and protested the war against Afghanistan with his daughter who was in a stroller now. Oh. Yeah, well, a stroller <laughs> then, and that now she's 11 years old. Yep, yep. And the uh, connection between... Uh, if you're going to do the PA or whatever, the, you just can't be up here doing that, okay? Oh, I'm taking a private video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, but if you oh. use this or sign it, no, that's, that's fine. I, I don't have a problem with that, but I mean, if you're going to so, change what you're doing. Yeah, well, I take her sign. <laughs> There. Right, okay. right, but I'm just saying, I saw, see yeah. the PA, so I assume she's got Oh, no, I'm... <laughs> Good, we got that on tape, Alan. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, I don't know, where were we? I don't know, but I hope you'll join us February 19th for our big celebration event. Which is? At the Goodman Center, and we're going to have Medea Benjamin speaking, uh -huh. and Frank Boyle actually mean, is coming do back. Mean, do you mean I've just become part of a commercial? <laughs> well, no, but you're on our website now talking about yeah. peace and justice work. Sure, so. sure, sure, sure. The, uh, what, I wanted, what I wanted to say was that more and more people now are making, uh, you know, visible in this demonstration today, uh, more and more people making the connection between uh, uh, austerity at home, uh, attacks, uh, privatization, uh, taps, uh, the, the absolute destruction of what's, what remains of the social safety net, attacks on education, attacks on trade union, while uh, trillions of dollars now are being spent in, in these insane wars, uh, unending long wars. That's got to be the message now, doesn't it? I hope people are very active now with this. Yeah, the, um, yeah. You know, the, more, the more I learn and, and my, my education goes on all mm -hmm. the time, it uh, becomes clearer and clearer of how, uh, well, first off, uh, how just incredibly mean-spirited. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the costs of this are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, there's all this talk constantly about supporting the troops. Well, we know what happens to veterans when they come home. I don't know that. Um, it's a, uh, and then we have folks who, who said, you know, support the troops who, always, who meant uh, we support the commander-in-chief. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, People are also, importantly, people have also uh, uh, become wise to the Obama administration. Mm -hmm. uh, there were some folks who, who, who wanted to believe that he was somehow a peace candidate. Yeah, I know. And uh, uh, while, the, while they weren't paying attention because he was promising, he was promising to expand the war in, in Afghanistan, Afghanistan the what they've time. done. Yeah. So, uh, uh, again, the money that's being pumped in, uh, and then, of course, the economists. Mm -hmm. um, how can Scott Walker talk about uh, uh, creating 250,000 jobs when all of the major economists across the spectrum uh, uh, are clear about the fact that if there is an economic recovery, that it'll be a jobless recovery? Yeah, that's uh, right. And, that's and right. you know, who who benefits? Who pays? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. A guy that can talk about uh, a welcoming business back to the state, mm -hmm. uh, that, that can, who can at the same time uh, block the train from Milwaukee to Madison. I'm glad you've got that on tape. Uh, wow, is, that's um, amazing, isn't is it? Absolutely <laughs> astounding. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, an incredible double speak, mm -hmm. and we know we, we know what these folks are about. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, a lot of it is bipartisan. Mm -hmm. 
you know. Uh, <laughs> so, so we understand. We understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks a lot. Sure, Ed. sure. Bye bye.